this week on the Hoover Boys. <laughs> Mark just looked at me and said, bro. Last time you did that, you found a gold coin. Don't make me punch the muck. Oh, you gonna punch the muck? <laughs> don't punch me in my muck hole. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, uh. <gasps> You're messing with me. Right? Well, welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. That fella in that really manually colored shirt out there, that's Mark. We just got permission to this big, beautiful, very old farm. Now, we weren't sure if we were going to go water hunting today or land hunting. We tried water hunting last weekend and the water was pretty cold. We're into October now, so uh, I think that's about done for the year. Uh, that day got cut short, unfortunately, so I have no footage from that day. But uh, today we're out here, figured to do some door knocking. It's later in the day. We were thinking about doing the river today, but it's windy as heck and they're calling for some massive thunderstorms in a couple hours. So we don't have a ton of time. Went knocking this morning, got a few people to answer their door. Didn't get a, didn't get a permission until here. This place seems to date back into the 1600s, hopefully. Um, right here in a big, beautiful field. Let's have some fun, try to say some mystery. I'm done rambling, let's go. Well, there's my first three signals, piece of can and melted lead and melted other stuff. Signal number four, 14 signal, I believe we have a button, looking like a time back. It's a very nasty windy day and I don't have my good camera with me, so if you can hear the wind noise, I apologize, but it's going to be part of the game today. Nice old time back button, we're in the right area. All right, 76. 76 on the max. On the Knox, it was a 23. You can always count on the muck to find something good, so. I think I just scored it, whatever it was. I hope you didn't. No, there's rocks in there, bro. Oh, no, is that oh, it there? Good. That sounded way better than that thing. It did. What's that? <laughs> Aluminium. That's sackable. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Try top. again. <laughs> One more time. All right. Throw it on out, right? Yeah. Oh. It was 83 on the, the Max, I think it was a 27 on the Equinox. We've been finding a few things. It didn't sound deep unless it's something big. I can hear it screaming. I'm trying to find my last little button. <clears throat> a little silver wash button I found. Be a coin. Oh, small enough for a coin. Be a matron. Oh no, it's, it's a ring. Little old button old ring. Old button ring. Something, Could something have like been. That. It's not thick enough to be like horse tack you know, or anything. No, it looks more like a. Now apparently they had buttons that took these rings and they were just sort of sewed. It was just a bunch of sewing, but whether that was one or not, I don't know. Uh, well, that's what we're gonna call it. Sure. Nice button ring. Thanks. <laughs> well, this is a twenty signal. Just flipped up what I believe is another button. Very thick, unless it's a smashed two-piece. Any military on there? I don't believe so. If it turns out to be something special, we'll come back with a close-up, but very fat button. Good sign. I wish I could hear you, I wish I could hear you guys. <laughs> it's really windy. I wish I could let you hear the signal. All I have is my waterproof headphones, but 24, 26, doesn't sound deep, it sounds tight. Hoping for some sort of coin. Oh, I didn't get it out. <laughs> On the surface. What we got? What we got? Why is that thing beeping so high for? I have no clue. Is a piece of spoon handle beeping like a memorial? It's definitely not new metal. But it's definitely not a coin. Alright, on to the next thing. <laughs> I don't know if I kept it in the video or not. Gosh, this went bad. But I just found this. I just live dug this thing. And because I live dug that, I didn't live dig this. It might be a coin. It was a 21, 23. It was deep. Definitely looks round and coiny. Maybe a half cent. Uh, we're going to have to stay in the shade. The wind's too tough. Definitely feels like a coin. Fat enough. Ugh. 
I don't know what I have here because I'm not in the sun. It's, I think it's going to be a Drake bus half cent. I think I'm going to play with it some more. I need another hand. I'll be right back. Does turn out to be a Drake bust half cent. Muck was using his eagle eyes. He was telling me it was an 1804. Is there 1800 to 1808, I believe? You can see a little bit of the uh, ribbon down there. And it would say half cent there, but the first copper of the fall 2021 digging season. And it's U.S. Give her a well-deserved kiss. Kiss. Why can't I speak? <laughs> Give her a well-deserved kiss. And hopefully we find some more. That's the right stuff. We're just doing some random lines throughout this field because I know there's not a ton of time until those storms hit. Picking up things here and there. It's got another little flat button or two. Muck's got a button. This hole here just popped up this, which I believe is a very fancy piece of an open work shoe buckle frame. Looks like the right stuff to me. So we know we're on an old piece of property, which is all we can ask for. We just got to put in our time and hopefully find some more desirables. That coin felt so good though. I love me some farm field coppers. Pretty or ugly, I'll take them all. Well, I have a 29 signal here. It might be larger than a coin. We're going to find out. What number is it going to be? <laughs> it's like a big buckle though. It ain't a piece of junk. Yeah, not bad. Something. What? I can't hear you with something, the wind. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to block the wind as best as I can. This hole here, I can't even get this in the sun with the... There we go. With blocking the wind. It's a flat pounded out piece of lead. Now, it certainly could be a poker chip. Why does it hold? I have no idea. Maybe they made it into a tag for something, but I'm going to call it a poker chip. I don't know. What do you got there? Hand or he's a handle maybe? Not far away. I yeah, it could be. Frame first. I don't think maybe spoon handle. Or... Could be. I don't know. Hopefully there's some more old stuff. We just came back to a different field. What you got going on here, bag. buddy? That was this hole here? Yeah. Yeah, it's Tom back. Yeah, pretty rough. There's the other button from earlier. There's a couple in. Look at the way the little shank is in here. I think it's just because it's smashed. It's because it's all the way closed. I mean, it's a couple button. Yeah. Where's the rest of your stuff? That's about it. Pretty, pretty busy day. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving it up. <laughs> We're giving her. <laughs> Can't even say it. It's too windy. We're giving her a shot. Ah! We're giving her all she's got. Give, we're, we're, we're giving her. I can't even. Why can't I think today? I don't know. It's the wind. We're giving her all we got. Well, it certainly does not look very fun over that way or back that way where the wind's coming from. We might have another hour or so, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see if it holds off for us. Check that out. It's pretty ornate. I'm guessing part of a shoe buckle frame. It would've been a really fat, fancy one. This is the area where I found the Tombeck button fourth hold it today so all right hopefully there's more old stuff it's a pretty rainbow i guess with your pretty shirt muck <laughs> it is raining now oh the time back button here not far from the first this is also the field where i did find the coin earlier so we're gonna poke around in here until the rain runs us off i do believe somebody's probably been metal detecting here before because there's old stuff here but it's very spread out we didn't we haven't found any you know old foundations or any iron patches or anything everything's been pretty random but it's definitely old stuff here but not a whole lot of it <laughs> mark just looked at me as a pro <laughs> last time we did that you found a gold coin I'm don't make me punch here. the muck are you gonna punch the muck don't punch me in my muck hole <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here uh, uh. <gasps> uh, you're messing with me Right? That, come on now. You're joking, right? Get up in there. You're joking. Uh, you're, you you're, you're, you're messing you with me. You gonna plug it out? I'm not touching that. No? 
You're messing with me, right? Are you oh, messing with me? I rolled it right out. Are you messing with me? Oh. oh. <laughs> Did you really just find that here? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. no, I do have a target in my hole though. <laughs> I was messing with you. I'm gonna punch you in your muck anyway. Oh, there's a target in here. I saw it. Screen. Whoa! There you go. <laughs> I was like, that, I know what a real fine looks like. <laughs> yeah. Have you flipped this yet? No. Yeah. Do you want to do the honors? No, I did flip it there already. I think. Uh, All right. I, I mean, I don't have good eyesight. Now. I mean, you have like 15 GW yeah. buttons. Don't be hating. But not this time. <laughs> It's alright, still a nice beautiful coat button. It is. What is my focus doing here? I don't know. Great button. <laughs> you messing with me? What is that? What is, what even is that? Uh -huh. God bless America. Duty honor service. I like it. It's for disabled soldiers coming to mail, of course. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> you almost lost your muck hole. Muck was close to finding out how hard I can punch. Let that be a lesson to you kids out there. Don't plant your finds. Uh, if my gold coin wasn't amazing. <laughs> yeah, it does. That sounds pretty pretty good. This ain't far from where I got my half cent earlier, so. Actually not far at all. Uh. Yeah. Right there somewhere. Right there somewhere. Yeah. But where? I'm on the GoPro because it's windy right now. Be a coin. Yes. Yeah. There's another dandy. That's big. Nothing going to be another dandy. It's way too big to be a coin. This is a Rosa Americana. I think I saw a shank. It's going to be a shank. <gasps> oh my gosh. I thought I saw an eagle at first. <laughs> Let me switch over cameras real quick. Yeah, it's a shank post, I believe. Right there. You see a divot oh I saw that on this oh you do have something on there I don't know what kind of design that is definitely doesn't look familiar a little flower or tree of some sort yeah. you got two dandy buttons I went in the dandy war today <laughs> you won the dandy war today when you showed up in that shirt That's right. <laughs> I don't know if the rain's gonna let off anymore I think we're pushing our luck you got a buffalo? I think so. Remember when I called your, your shield nymph a buffalo and you got really mad and it was punching me in my muck hole? <laughs> <laughs> buffalo nickel. It was like a turn of the century house in this area. I was hoping to find some more of that kind of stuff in here. SLQ, Walking Liberty, something fun. Some, something shiny we can foo. We have natural foo right now. You ready? Am I ready to be hiding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, we didn't have like the best day ever today, but I'm glad we landed here. The owners are absolutely amazing. They said we can come back whenever we want. They have another farm down the road that we're allowed to hit once, you know, they cut that. That's a bean field, another 200 acre farm. And we barely scratched the surface of this place. There's definitely some stuff here, so we will be back. We're only here for a few hours today, and uh, we dug as many signals as we could. There's all the, the gimmish in. Here's the board. Muck. Actually, this is a, a water find from last week. Our hunt that got cut short. You got a Colt 45 bullet, Civil War bullet, out of the water. And uh, this is our finds today. A piece of horse tack, a rivet. Uh, you got buckyballs. We got here a weedy clad. <laughs> the thing we're calling a button ring. A few little buttons. You got two big dandy buttons. One's the fancy one. I love me some dandy buttons. And you got a buffalo nickel. That's my little lead pieces. I got some horse tack. There's my three rivets. Some odd bullet there. My poker chip. A uh, toe tap. A zincan. There's my buttons. I guess I got six buttons. Two pieces of shoe buckle frame. And the uh, drape bust. Half cent. Beautiful coin. Somebody has definitely found some more old coins here. Hopefully we get some next time. But until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take the trash with you. Why? all holes matter. Well, I flipped it over so the rain wouldn't get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just putting our finds back. And I remember finding this earlier. And it was on the board. 
says Colonial. <laughs> it's a piece of house wire. But I was like, I think somebody cut out the Colonial. Oh no, it's so little. Why is it so little? That is the smallest coin ever. I think it's a piece of a bullet. On to the next thing, sorry. It's all, huh? Well, I got a 22 signal here. If I don't live dig it, it's gonna be a cut Spanish coin. If I do live dig it, it's gonna be half of a penny, a modern penny, a piece of taco money. So, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's a 22, it's not deep. I'm going with the pro. Right there. Where is my memorial? Okay, it's not that. A rivet! <laughs> This is my third rivet of the day, but the first one on film. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Get it done. Having fun. Oh, that looks like a storm behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably my last signal of the day. Yeah. Anything shiny? I don't think so. Not yet. Oh no, look at that coin edge, bro. Oh, nice. What kind of bottle cap is that? Special. The one that I'm probably gonna cut out of the video. <laughs> ah! Alright, we gotta get out of here, bro. Alright. Sure about that? <laughs> you mug with me? <laughs>